Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Cumbre Vieja La Palma eruption update Wednesday, November 3rd. That's around 10.30 a.m. Mountain Time, 2021. Welcome to the show. Heavy ash is covering the island. Two days ago in our last update, we reported on this heavy ash, and it's only getting worse. The last four days have seen more ash than the entire eruption for the island. And take a look at this is bad news because if it starts raining here, the winter rains are coming, These this ash will become like cement and it will crush the roofs. That's why it's imperative to get the ash off of the buildings. And that's what we're doing now. Ash from erupting volcanoes is for, forcing the islanders indoors because the air quality is just that bad. But if you could see in the background there, the volcano, well, it's erupting much less. Tremor remains extremely low. As earthquakes pick up, the magnitude 5.1 has been downgraded to 5 magnitude. It's only We're only at 5 magnitude currently. And we will get to some of the data points in just a second. Here we're looking at the live seismic tremor graph, and you can see the last 24 hours extremely reduced tremor. This is some of the lowest uh, in weeks, which means that less lava is coming out of that volcano. And good news, bad news for banana farmers whose livelihoods are being devoured by the ash. Notice them covering the bananas in bags there. Just a bad scene. So our prayers go out to the island. Now, La Palma, an aerial video showing the craters aligned in a row. Yesterday, they were able to get a drone in here, and that's because the eruptive nature is lowering. There is much less lava and explosive activity happening, and that's good news. It could mean that, well... La Palma is coming to a close. But let's quick take a look at that flyby. It's absolutely fantastic. A lot of people were wondering, how could a magma chamber be empty, causing these large earthquakes? Well, if you look at some of the central vents here, you could see nothing but gases coming out of some of the vents. The, this is air. This is voids, voids in the magma chamber system. And if there's big enough voids, then some of that can collapse, causing those earthquakes. Now let's take a look at the flyby, which I think you will all enjoy. But this is the Instituto Geológico Minero de España. Subscribe to the channel and give them a thumbs up for that amazing drone footage that we were able to share with you today. Now, a quick checkup on the earthquakes. As of right now, the largest earthquake in the last 24 hours was the 5 magnitude um, about 12 hours ago. Two quakes between 4 and 5. And 47 quakes between 3 and 4. 82 between 2 and 3, which means we're at about 130 quakes in a 24 hour period, which is pretty low compared to where we have been. Now we can come look at the 3D earthquakes with depth and you can see that the last 48 hours or so, this is when we called the end of the eruption, meaning the eruption will end within a week, three, four, five days it could take. So now we're two days into that. The activity is still much lower we have a full 48 power with very low seismicity. And the, the number of earthquakes just in the last 12 hours, again, very devoid, just like about 24 hours ago. So we're entering a period on very low seismicity, which is very good news. And we're going to come over here live to the volcano and check it out. And we're looking live at the current eruption on La Palma at Cumbre Vieja. You can see huge amounts of steam now emanating from... Some of those fissures and those uh, cinder cones, 
as well as ash coming from the back here. This is mostly an ash and steam event though today and lava output is extremely reduced. Also, sulfur dioxide, extremely reduced, all good news. And it could mean that this is quieting down and eventually, well, would shut off. That's how all cinder cones, they get quieter and quieter and then they just stop erupting. Once all the magma is free from the chambers, there is no additional pressure. This volcano will have the ability to stop erupting completely, but it's a process and a process that we're watching. Unfortunately for the people of La Palma, this process is taking quite a bit of time and taking a toll. The last four days have been the worst four days for the population on the island, not because of lava, not because of destruction of homes, but because of tens of thousands of people all now being affected by the heavy ash, which is falling into the sky and into the valley. And you can see it's not getting this. All this is moving over to those population centers. And that's bad news. So we're keeping a close eye on La Palma for you. As seismicity reduces, as tremor reduces, as the output of SO2 reduces, we are on a trend downward, which is good news and a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. We try to bring you up to speed with the most current information, and we try to do it in a way that you can understand. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And thanks for watching. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom to knowledge. Mm -hmm.